This is the wake. We are flying to Los Angeles on Saturday. Saturday. This has come up so fast. I'm asking a friend at work, thanks Annalise, for a thousand tips. She used to live in Los Angeles and I've been asking her so many questions. I'm prepared for Universal Studios, Disneyland, baseball game in Angel Stadium. That's the day that we arrive at 6 p.m. Let's see how we go. I think we're gonna be pooped. But still have fun, right Annalise? We have some very exciting news. I applied for Comic Con back in November last year and only recently we've heard back from them with some very exciting news. Very exciting. I'll tell you in a sec. We have officially been approved as a press member. Woo! Yeah. Seriously, so much joy. Isn't that right, Cody? It's so exciting, you've got hair in your face. We've been approved for press at Comic-Con in San Diego 2019. And Cody wants to play. Great timing. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Give me a sec. I've just thrown it out the door and he can't find it. To celebrate, we're making some t-shirts. Picked up these from Kmart for 10 bucks each. We're going to screen, we're gonna print on some. We're gonna print onto, we're gonna print the t-shirts onto this Office One White t-shirt transfers, a three pack. We're just gonna throw a logo right here on the top and maybe a name on the side just for Comic-Con. Because, real talk, this is more than a dream for me. I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. I was dreaming about this when I was in university and now it's actually happening is ridiculous. My mind has just been blown. Keep an eye out, we're gonna be filming a few Aussies who go over there. Keep an eye out, we're gonna catch up with some fellow Aussies as they visit Comic-Con in San Diego. Some people have been up to eight years in a row. That's awesome. So, I'm also gonna try printing our logo onto this hat. Thanks again to Kmart, $3. We're gonna give this a crack and we'll see what it looks like. I'll see you in a sec. We're going to attempt to stick these on to our t-shirts. I'm going to do mine first, so I'm probably going to stuff it up. The instructions are here. Alright. It is flat. All right, there's one cut out. Now it goes, because <laughs> it's printed in reverse. So it looks backwards there when you're actually looking at it on the t-shirt, you might be able to see that. It's hard to see, there it is. You can see it's actually the right, right way around. All right, here we go. So liner up, going with this. There. Let's see there. Let's line it up top of it. Alright. What could go wrong? Crap. Here he goes. What's up, buddy? I know you want to check it out too. You can't though, you can't, you can't. Just hang, hang, chill. Down, get down.
it a bit. Apparently the um the green on the back actually turns orange when it's ready. See how there's a bit of green on the back where it's a little iron symbol? Apparently you gotta iron that until it turns orange. And then you know it's done. Now if you take it off straight away, it's gonna have a matte finish. If I take it off once it's cooled down, it'll be gloss. I haven't decided which one I want yet. I think gloss. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the gloss. Let's have a look. Okay, almost there. All right, that looks pretty orange to me. Now, we're gonna let it cool down. We'll come back in a bit. Okay. Welcome back. Last night, I attempted to print onto t-shirts. The first light didn't go very well. You can see on the first lot that I printed, there are these lines around, you can't see in the light, it's hard to see. But the whole part that I actually, I cut out a square and you can see the square. Fail. It didn't work. But, I tried again. I thought, if I cut around the actual logos, you won't be able to see adhesive material. That's what we came up with. Australian flag on the side. This one's Laura, it's got his lamer on the back. Motion video film crew. This is a dream come true. You have no idea. This is great. So we're leaving on Saturday. I don't think there's much else to tell you. So a bit of an update on our trip. I've gone around to all our accommodation and our car hires and just checked the prices of some competitors. <clears throat> it turns out I've found some that are cheaper than the ones we actually have and better cars. I had a friend, thanks Annalise, recommend to take a Polaroid camera, which is going to be a bit of fun. So keep an eye out for some of those snaps, it's going to be really cool. On the road, I'm going to be editing with a program called Power Director, and that gives me all the options that I need to be able to edit properly. So everything that you see over the next month is going to be done on this phone. I don't know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Well, that's it for now here at home, in Melbourne, Australia. We'll see you soon, US. So yeah. Don't worry, your toy will still be here. See ya.